So I'm, I'm trying to make a post, like a sincere post about the, the Shoe Drop podcast, and I feel the word execution is a little, little oh, harsh. A little harsh. Even though I'm not taking it in that sense, I'm talking about like plotting, planning, and execution. And Trav wants me to substitute well, it for the word murder. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't give a context. Yeah. All you said was, what's another word for execution? And I said murder. <laughs> Detroit product, all the way from the D. Big Detroit, we out here now, fucking T Clement. We out this bitch, man. Let's go ahead and get faded through Detroit, where we out here, man. Whoa. Ooh. We forgot to take that picture yesterday, boy. Uh, we'll do it, uh, we can do it anytime. Who's that? Get those cameras off me. Get those cameras off me. What's up, baby? Detroit NBA, what's going on? I'm good, I'm good. You know what it is, Master Logan. None of that Master Lodge shit, we out here. Lodge shit all summer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting volume. There you go. You're good. There we go. Fresh, you gonna say in your mess. Nah. That ain't gonna happen. First of all, oh yeah, you about to be having some bloopers. This about to be fun. <laughs> Probably try rapping your bands. Probably gonna talk on the stand. See, I've been a shooter, been a rapper, been a goon, I've been a mob of 213. I've been starving, been hungry, looking for some rappers because it's time to eat. That hook coming in after that. Is that the hook? Huh? Or, you, or is that like a bridge? Well, I know that, but That's I'm That's the saying, hook, buddy. We're done. Double or up. You want to do that? Yes, sir. Right, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. He's Double or up, buddy. Double or up. That's what we're doing. Double or up. Double or up. Fuck yeah. What the fuck is he mean? Let's get a playback, guys. Let's just hear some music. Smart. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. D, you just cut up your first side dish. How you feeling? Uh, I feel great. You know what I'm saying? It don't feel like I thought it would. I thought I would be like shy as hell, but y'all make it comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Make it real. And plus that right shit, you know, I hate it to death. But now nah, I'm good at it. But yeah, y'all did good. I love y'all. Dick no, Iron Skillet. You did good. Move. I did. You did good. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. What are you talking about? Oh, you talking about as far as the side dish situation? Yeah. How y'all just put me in the goddamn writer's block? Like, I was just good. I had the best momentum when I got here, bro. Yeah. We go do the motherfucking side dish, you know what I'm saying? I got really into it. Cause about like, songwriting. About songwriting. Your process and all that. I'm like, yeah, when you, you know, you don't want to rush it. That's what everybody kept saying. I got to go back to the D. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had good momentum to make this song before. Now we do the side dish. I can't do shit. I don't even know how to write. I'm deleting shit now. Thanks, Iron Skillet. <laughs> oh, great. Back for another episode. Iron Skillet, food for thought. Here we are, we got two podcasts, one night, as usual. We got La Trap coming through, a uh, local clothing brand, and then we got Riley Kearns following it up at 9 p.m. So we got a full slate tonight, and uh, let's cook up. <laughs> Man. He's like, bro, Brand's gonna bite you. <laughs> what we got, what we got here? Bel Air. Shout out Iron Skillet. Whoa, look at them! That's good, guys! I thought that might be a possibility. <laughs> Ready for the big night? Camera's night-y. going, of course. This is an Eminem? No! This what? Is a Hip Gobby and Fitch. Liquid Dreams? Look, yeah, but O Town was like the JV level. And they were like not on it. I bought the seat in gym class. Let me go put this on. You Dude, gym. bro, those were the days when they let you bring a CD in the gym class. 
<laughs> Shout out to Seth for bringing these truly lemonade hard seltzers through because I'm not a seltzer person. Like, I would never have a drink in this if Seth didn't give it to me, but it's pretty good. And I've had White Claws, and I'm going to say I feel like these are better because <sighs> White Claws just taste like watered down. Thanks, Travis, for the burp. Thanks, Travis, don't, for the burp. Don't hear him on the podcast. It's an accident. He's burping. He burped into the mic. <laughs> Thanks, Seth Baker, for the burps. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but these truly uh, hard seltzers are the bomb. Uh, Brandon's about to knock out two intros for some podcasts. And, yeah, we're back on track. This is the fun part because we, like, y'all see the intro for, like, the best take. But sometimes we go through, like, 10 to 20 takes of, like, Trying, trying to, to get it right. <laughs> Sell love. He always says Sell it like that. Yo, I'm, I'm in there every morning. Oh, I was in there this morning, and they got, oh, like I'm not cutting the promo right now. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> On this week's episode of the podcast, we got the owner of the Trap Clothing joining clothing line. Joining oh, us. Cre- Shh. Oh, I said clothing twice in the same sentence. Hold on. See, I forgot what I even said. Joining us a creative. Joining us. This guy said he was ready. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I think I got this. On this week's episode, we talked to him about what it got him. Oh, that was it. What it got him. Oh, shit. That was it. What it got him. Fuck. <laughs> Sounded so natural. He's a little... In my head, I'm like, damn, this blue for real is going to be funny as fuck. (laughs) Talk to him about what got him into fashion, as well as what it took to get hip-hop icons such as Rick Ross and Lil Boozy to co-sign the brand and start rocking the apparel. Let's get into it. Boom! Let's go! (laughs) Uh, That's probably like 17 takes. So... Trying to make a post, like a sincere post about the, the Shoe Drive podcast, and I feel the word execution is a little, little harsh. A little harsh. Even though I'm not taking it in that sense, I'm talking about like plotting, planning, and execution. And Trav wants me to substitute it for the word murder. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait! You didn't give a context. Yeah. All well, you well, said was, "What's another word for execution?" I said, "Murder." <laughs> You're not wrong, but... I'm not wrong. Trav also says things in a very literal and semi-joking way, so you never know if he's serious or joking, or half the time he's both. Yeah. He's joking, but he's also serious. For sure. Like, said instance here. So what's the what's it looking like now? Uh, I might delete the whole sentence. No! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Back to the drawing board.